Hopefully it works a little bit better tonight. Just posted it across a couple different platforms. So hopefully we'll start uh, getting some getting some light on the channel. So I'm basically just going to process it right out here. Um, like I said, this is going to be firewood. Not sure. These are new controls to me, so kind of bear with me. It's already not wanting to work. What's going on now? Turn on. Turn on. There we go. Okay, so this. I don't want to. There we go. That's weird. And we've got the, oh, my bad, I'm used to turning my head with the, uh, with the right stick, and now I don't do that no more. Okay, so that's on a button now. So this has got the uh, real processor mod on it. Now we're getting down to the down to the gritty here. Let's keep it. Let's keep it somewhat decent there. We'll keep that over there. Did it again, my bad. One of the problems with the root processor mod, it seems to have like, um, it seems like it grabs anything in the uh, vicinity and I'm pretty sure that wasn't, it isn't the mod's fault. I'm pretty sure it happens just in general. And I've already got something stuck in my head. There we go. Off, on, perfect. So there's a couple quirks to work out with it, but uh, it completely, completely changes kind of everything. I like it. I'm not the best with it yet, but I don't know if it's going to grab onto two here or not. Let's we'll see. So once again, we're doing doing firewood with this. I don't know if we have it sold or not yet. I've got to talk to. Uh, Got to chat with Woodsy, see uh, how we want to do that. If we want to just use the uh, Kenworth and kind of do a uh, private sale, or what to kind of role play that out in a way. Didn't fling very well. these dangles you guys that have watched uh, Riverside Down you know that I've never been very good with them I'm working on it so kind of bear with me a little bit with it it's not going to be the most 
satisfying gameplay for a little while, but we'll get it. We will get it. Comes with time. Learning the quirks, that's for sure. Turn it back off. Turn it back off. So hopefully, hopefully we, uh, in the coming of days, we will be able to get on a little bit earlier and uh, actually have some players. Luckily, I've got, uh, so far it seems like I've got a pretty good, uh, pretty good base of people that are really interested in getting in and doing some logging. Um, about half of them are actual modders, um, which would be cool. Different perspectives and different ideas of things. Um, how do you guys know that we got uh, 22 coming in next? Uh, what is it? Next month or the month following? Um, so we got Woodsy. Woodsy does. Uh, well, he's, he's the brains of the outfit right now for sure. Uh, we've got uh, JDL Logan. He's a uh, guy that I played with quite a bit in the past. Um, JDL's buddy, uh, Colin, he was in here uh, yesterday. And then uh, we met another guy tonight, Chris. He was actually an old, uh, old viewer uh, from way back. In fact, he said he was a Patreon, which was way, way, way a long time ago. I haven't had a Patreon in years. Um, but I might look back into that as we go. For uh, either rubber side down or this channel, or maybe even both. And what I'll do is I'll end up uh, taking live streams and making them into videos. And uh, the rubber side down content, usually I have my videos uh, somewhat edited and ready 
for upload a couple days prior. So maybe what I can do is uh, to get people away from the ads and everything else, put it like a dollar a month or something, something feasible. And uh, have a way for people to be able to support what I'm doing without the, uh, the whole YouTube garbage going on. I like the platform and everything, but uh, I don't agree with what's going on with them. Right now with all the copyright garbage that you can't fight, or if you try to fight, it's some 13 year old that uh, basically has control of your channel that has all the uh, songs on it I like I get mine from uh, pixel Bay stuff like that so it's all copyright free, free music but uh, for some reason the little bit of music that I do have in some of the videos has been labeled as copyright and it doesn't go to YouTube to process it goes to the individual that put the uh, music out there uh, that Supposedly he's affiliated with or whatever it is and even though it's on a uh, free platform they actually take control of your videos uh, and the only thing that you can really do is either make them public or just re-edit them uh, with either new music or no music on them. he sits back on Pixel Bay adding new music or getting affiliated with somebody else on there just to uh, mess over other channels. So we're kind of in a battle right now with that. On both channels. This one has... Uh, I think it was my first live stream that I had did on uh, Farming Sim with the uh, with the forwarder. Um, like I said that uh, Lofi, Lofi, whatever the heck music it is, came right off Pixel Bay. It was free and uh, got a strike on it. So I did everything that I could. I provided the link. I provided the uh, the information that's out there publicly about the music on that platform, and hopefully they do what's right. I mean, cause some of these guys they're messing with uh, with livelihoods, you know. Luckily, I've got a full-time job, and I don't do this for the money. I do it for the for the viewers, more or less. You know, the money's definitely uh, definitely nice uh, when it comes in, but if I make a hundred dollars a year off of it, it's it's a lot. So it's uh, it's more for you guys than anything. And then the other thing that uh, a lot of people don't even consider, uh, at least where I am, in my state, uh, I don't know if the taxes and all that other stuff, but uh, whatever you do make for YouTube, it's taxed at like 35%. So, you know, you make $100. Granted, that generally isn't enough for them to actually, uh, I get $600 minimum or something like that. But out of that hundred dollars, you know, you'd, you'd have to pay back thirty-five. So you, you factor that into a thousand. That's three hundred fifty dollars. Two thousand six hundred, uh, seven hundred dollars. You know, it's it does add up. Of course, you know, you can go the route with uh, uh, keeping all your your paste or uh, all your uh, 
products that you buy, stuff like that. You, there is, there's ways of uh, definitely helping, but it doesn't seem like it. Uh, it does all that much when you when you do it the way that I do it. And, but I don't really have a very savvy business background. You guys know from watching the channel. I just kind of put up what I have and people watch it, they watch it. If they don't, they don't. Hopefully, hopefully somebody out there at least enjoys it. Yeah. 